Virgo, the song that's playing for you is coordinate. Alright, so look, you may be trying you may be in a space where you're trying to lay some shit out. You're trying to make some shit happen, you're trying to connect some dots, you're trying to coordinate some shit, or you get into the point where now you getting organized. Now you getting yourself together. Now you're trying to coordinate. Now you're trying to bring balance. Or you already balanced in your reality, but your reality that required you to be coordinated. It's hard to try to, it required you to get your things tightly in a row, get your things together. You had to stop working on something or you had to stop thinking a certain type of way. Building a certain mentality because that mindset only brought you emotional pain, emotional emotional damage, you feel me? <laughs> something, was only, something was only hurting you. So look, you had to stop going in that direction. You had to change coordinates. All right, so look, now you want to go in a different direction. Now you're trying to, look, you're trying to go in the direction that makes you emotionally happy. Something makes you feel good, and now you want to go that way. You can't unsee what it is you've seen or unlearn what it is you've learned in regards to a space you already invested in or a space you were invested in. Now that you know something, now you now all you're thinking about is abundance. Now all you're thinking about is something long-term, something real. In some way, shape, or form. Whether it's a business endeavor, you want to start a business and you know this business will go the mile. You know this business will last generations on over. Or it's a relationship that you know it's, it's like a love or the idea of a relationship that will last the life, lifetimes on lifetimes. Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. Yeah, but look, you've been thinking about something. Hermit upright. You went deep in thought regarding something. Something made you think a little deep. In regards to what you are doing or what you're participating in, look, and that made you fall out of love with something. Whether you fell out of a lo love with the idea of a space you are currently in, it's like, look, so some because you was doing some deep thought regarding something you were invested in, friendship, partnership, relationship, business, associates, business ideas, all that deep thinking made you put a burden down. And you putting that burden down killed a mentality or killed the idea of something. In your mind, you used to think this was a good idea, but you quickly learned after doing all this thinking, after doing all this processing, you, all this reflection, you realize you were manifesting the negative, the wrong way, or you weren't using the proper energies to obtain what it is you wanted to participate in in your reality. And you fell out of love quickly once you realized that. So now the space you involved in, you don't like this idea, you don't like this job, you don't like these people, you don't like these family members, these friends, the associates, this relationship. Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. You don't like the space you're surrounded by right now, though. Man, something got to fall or something fell or something's falling. Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. Rap save. Shit, somebody probably spit some shit at you and woke you up. Somebody rapped at you real quick. Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. And they got you thinking about what's real now. They got you thinking about longevity, long term. You no longer communicating how you used to communicate or expressing your truth, how you used to express yourself. You stopped all that immaturity and now it's like you, you realize where you at. Okay, dang it. It's Yeah, look, because somebody brought you a piece of your mind, a piece of their mind. Whether it's someone expressed their mind to you or you got an idea, you got a realization about how you were manifesting, how you were going about things, how you were expressing yourself, how you were investing your emotions, your feelings in things. You weren't doing it for, with, it's like you weren't doing it with good intentions almost. Whatever you were invested in, you were manifesting using negative energies. You probably was lying instead of telling the truth. A couple white lies here, a couple white lies there, boom, you get what you want. But it worked for you. But look, all you was doing was being a devil. You, whether you were dealing with a devil, you were dealing with a Capricorn, you don't got to be dealing with a Capricorn. You were dealing with someone toxic, toxic friends, toxic family members, toxic mindset, your own damn self, you feel me? You were acting toxic a certain, once upon a time, and that only made you realize after someone either expressed a, a mindset to you, someone brought you their mentality, someone brought you a coin, and once you, once you picked up that coin, once you got that coin, once you got that enlightenment, that idea, it made you look at what you were invested in differently. And now you don't love the space you in no more. Because look, I told you, someone expressed something to you that made you realize a painful truth. 
It, it was like something you, whether if you knew it already, it's like something you didn't want to acknowledge or something you didn't want to realize. Or if you didn't know, it was like someone was controlling the space with you. It's like you became aware of some secrets regarding someone being toxic towards a space you were trying to work on or a space you were invested in. Now you realize you can't heal this space because of either you were manifesting talk, using negative energies or someone outside of you manifested you and was trying to control and manipulate you using negative energies. You feel me? Hey, look, I'm telling you, you stop nurturing the idea of something because something was brought to you. An awareness, some enlightenment, some information, whether that information was used, brought to you by someone outside of you, someone outside of you brought you a mentality, or you just became aware, you seen something You when you were investing in your day-to-day -day life, you were going about your day-to-day -day routines, and you became aware of something differently that made you think about something in a higher angle from a different perspective. You, you went further out, and you saw more of the scenario than you usually would, and that changed how you feel about it. Okay, okay, well. Yeah, look, Eddie, you ain't you emotionally it ain't a party no more. It ain't a party no more for Virgo. Virgo not happy with celebrating with these people. You fell out of love with a space. You don't like this the idea of something no more. You don't like investing your emotions, investing your passion, investing your energy into something anymore. Look, because you became aware of something. Moon in reverse again. Something that hurt you in regards to your feelings. Something hurt you deep. It was a deep cut. And that was regarding something you were going hard at with the eight of wands on the bottom. Once upon a time, you were going hard at this friendship, hard at this relationship, hard with these people, hard at this business endeavor, hard at whatever you were drilling. You were drilling something. It was gangbanging, all right? And rap saved you, though. Somebody rapped some shit to you, brought you some information that changed how you look at something. Now, look, it ain't a party no more. You don't feel good about the people around you no more. You don't feel like you can celebrate with these people. You don't feel like these people deserve your emotions or good, or, or good emotional investments. Tower on the bottom because something failed. A mentality or a perspective you thought was solid in regards to this situation got rocked when you got this idea. This Imagine this coin like a meteor in your mind and this is the idea of something. Soon as you realize something, boom, it destroyed how you viewed a situation. Now all you can do is take the truth and move on. Whether internally or you doing that third dimensionally now. I'm, regardless, even if it's internal or external, you are not emotionally satisfied with what you are invested in right now. Shit, it may be, look, it could be three people, all right? It don't gotta be three people, but this is three cups. So you could have been celebrating, it could have been you and two other people celebrating the same emotions, celebrating the same feelings. And you re you may have became aware that all that shit was unstable, all that shit was unsolid, it wasn't real. All that, sh did, you all that did to you was put you in conflict put regarding what you're passionate about. It's like people kept you confused almost. Or tried to keep you confused. Look, sneaking and geeking. I told you. Motherfuckers is just trying to keep you confused. No, motherfuckers was sneaking. We geeked up on Mahalo. See, I'm telling you, look, you might have been in, it was like, again, once when it was a party, when you liked these people, when you loved this idea, when you were ignoring some sort of awareness or some sort of truth, or just you weren't aware at the time. You, it was a, you was a night, it was a nice little party. We're not going to act like it wasn't, you wasn't enjoying yourself at the party, Virgo. All right? You was celebrating, you was kicking shit, you was sneaking and geeking with them. But until something happened that made you switch up, now you're like, hold up, it ain't a party no more. I don't, I don't want to participate. Look, you on the because you was on the wrong side of karma in regards to a situation, and you being on the wrong side of karma brought you an awareness in regards to what you were invested in, in regards to what you were passionate about, how you actually felt in the space. And you know, what I'm telling you, look. Look, two of cups in reverse. If if this is a relationship, shit went down the drain when you became aware of something. 
when someone invested in you. Relationship, friendship, family members, partnership, whatever you was in. It was a couple of people in it. All right. It's two of cups and three of cups. It was a couple of Joes, a couple of feelings, whether it was you and your friends, you and your partner, you and your partners, because it's three people. So you could have been in one of them little them things. You feel me? If that's how you get down, that's how you get down. And you realize motherfuckers was sneaking. And they kept you geeking to realize, to keep you from realizing they were sneaking. Look, all time motherfuckers was plotting on you with the three of coins. And that puts you in the space to emotionally walk away because you became aware of what's real, what's long term. You got a taste of what's solid. You became aware of what's solid. And you becoming aware of what's solid again on the bottom of the moon in reverse. It hurt you. Because it made you realize you were just tied to something toxic. The devil, three of coins in reverse, two of coins in reverse. And a, mo a relationship you were invested in, the space you were invested in, was only keeping you stuck in a lower state of emotional feeling, a lower state of expression, a lower state of how you feel and how you push your passions and push your emotions out there. All because, of the, look, I'm telling you, it was probably, you was probably involved with a group of people, a group of friends, a group of associates. Y'all was always on demon time. Always on demon time. And then one day on demon time, something be was brought to your awareness. Whether someone said something to you while it's like you was on demon time. And then someone said something to you outside of your usual demons. You and your usual demons was kicking it. And then someone brought you some enlightenment. That changed how you feel about demon time. Now you don't feel the same way about demon time. Look, life is good. Then you was on demon time like usual. Now look, you no longer want to express that passion. You no longer want to go in that direction in regards to how you invest yourself. Look, you can't stop thinking about something now. I'm telling you, if this is if something put you in your head about what you've been invested in, what you what you exchanged emotions with, and you no longer feel abundant in that space. You no longer feel like this can go the mile. This was a good idea. These are good people to hang out with. You feel different. All of these are your feelings. You may not be showing your feelings, Virgo. All right? Because so you, you could paint a pretty picture on the outside. But how you feel about what you win, you can't sleep. You restless because you you not in love with what you're doing. You fell out of love with what you're doing, and falling out of love is hit way different than not even being in love in the first place. You feel me? It's one thing if you didn't really care about what you was doing, but it's another thing you you were in love with the idea of this. You loved this, and then something happened that made you fall out of love. It's a thin line between love and hate. So if you don't love something now, you hate it. And you hate how something makes you feel. And you can't stop thinking about that. See, you thought life was good. You thought life would be good with a little... Just, just If you just had some red boxes. Alright, so you may have been in the... I mean, Virgos could be the type of people to... It's like... You're not materialistic, but at the same time you are. And you, th you may have thought materials was it until something happened that made you change that perspective. Until you, it's like you got everything you wanted and then you real, something, a mentality or a mindset or an idea or a realization was brought to you that made you realize, yeah, you could have everything you want, but it doesn't matter if you don't feel good. It doesn't matter if you don't love what you're doing. You feel me? Now you can't stop thinking about something because a, 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 a mindset you had was brought to death. A perspective you had was brought to death. You, the Green Reaper came through and sweeped some shit up. I'm talking four, fifth, six dimensions. Look, but now you know how you feel. I'm telling you, now you know, it's like you you realize you had to invest in something that only fucked you up is to find how you feel. Now you can't stop thinking about whatever you're invested in because you you know how you feel. You know what you want to feel about. You know where you want to invest, what you want to give your emotions to. You may, yeah, look, on the split, you know what you want to work on. Or what you worked on only brought you emotional pain, emotional turmoil. I'm telling you, all these feelings are in reverse. 
So if it's you versus someone outside of you, someone outside of you got you to invest your emotions in something that you didn't even love. You did it, and it was like a brief celebration. It was a brief. It was like it was good for a while. Life was good for a while until something happened, and then you realized something. Now you don't love this idea. Now you don't love these people. But again, you're hurt emotionally. But now you know how you feel about what it is you are in or what you want to be in. You know what you want to work on now. You feel me? You can't stop thinking about it neither. Put your foot in the shoe that feet. Look, on the split, you want to go in a new direction regarding what you're passionate about, what you feel about now. Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. Yeah, you gotta leave something alone though, Virgo. I'm gonna fuck with you. 